All right, so I'm shirtless. <laughs> I'm kind of taking a, uh, a cue from Wicked Cool and Toddy Live, um, two of my subscriptions. I gotta say, Wicked Cool, I wait for your videos. I really like your stuff. Um, anyways, <laughs> good morning. It's what Friday? No, Thursday, the twenty eighth. And um, I'm at home alone right now. My roommate went out to go get his license back. It's been like a year. So he needed to get that back. Um, I'm currently with one job. And I need to find a second or third. Um, uh, no, a second or a new one. Because the job I currently have is um, not making me any money. I work maybe four hours a week. Like, I haven't worked since last Tuesday. That's a long time to not be working. Um, and I won't work again until Saturday. Um, plus with this all financial thing. I don't know if you, if any of you do your taxes or have had your taxes done yet. I'm sure you all have. Um, but I got money put away for me years and years ago, like in 89, I got money put away in some stock for me. <clears throat> and, um, my financial advisor moved, so in order to move it, we had to sell it. We had to sell the stock so we could move it. Well, I made money on a gift, and I have to pay taxes on the money that I made. And, of course, they didn't send it to me till the day after I had already filed. <laughs> so, I have to go in today, see my aunt, work with her and refile which sucks because I was gonna get I was gonna get a, a moderately okay refund back and now I'm not um, I'm probably gonna lose about half of it I'm not excited um, so I don't know if any of you have gone through this before this is my first year filing I'm not happy about it um, I'm gonna have to file you know I'm gonna have to file from now on and if I ever get married, which I will move to Massachusetts for, I promise you, if that's still the only state when I'm old enough, you know, when I'm ready to get married, if that's the only state where I can get married, I'm moving there. I'm doing a whole big thing. I'm moving to Boston. I'm gonna... I like Boston. I went to Boston uh, last year during the winter, which was nice. We made uh, meals for people with, uh, well, we packaged the meals for people with, um... oh, we don't, we made them. Well, we helped make them. We didn't cook them. They had executive chefs for that. Um, oh god, my camera's messing up, and if it messes up again, I'm so sorry, because the last vlog sucked, because I had to put in two parts. Anyways, <clears throat> I made a blog the other day, but I erased it, because I was like, well, screw this, this is too sad, and I started um, crying and a whole bunch of other stuff. Basically, what's going on is I've been really unhappy lately with the way my life is going. I've been making all these changes. I quit drinking, quit smoking, stop going to the bar as much. I don't have random encounters, if I ever have random encounters. <laughs> uh, which, I mean, you know, basically I'm not having sex with my friends anymore. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but mostly it's... It's bland. My life is very bland, and I've been going through some, you know, reflection periods. I I used to be so involved with pornography. Like, I loved porn, and I watched it all the time, and I like to know where the stars were, and I still kind of have this whole, like, oh, I know that star, and he's doing this, and that's funny, and blah, 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 and if I meet a star, I'm like, oh my god, I know your videos, and this and that, but it was getting old, and, like... It was getting to the point where I didn't have my own life. I didn't have my own sex life. I had the sex life of my porn stars, which were like my celebrities because I can sit there and watch celebrities all day, but they aren't on my team, so I don't really want to watch them. Um, but, you know, after the whole porn star debacle, the porn store debacle when I worked there, um, not that it was really a debacle. I mean, they were a really good company to work for, but it's just like... I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't work for them, I couldn't sell that stuff anymore. Um, and so now I'm here and I'm trying to get my life together and I'm trying to find a job and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. And it's hard. Um, 
I, I'm sure you're, you've all been through it or you're going through it or you're going to go through it. It's hard. Um, and especially for someone who's been, um, been diagnosed with a bit of depression um, and things like that, it's hard. It is hella hard um, because you just, they don't teach you these things at school. They don't, they don't teach you these things at home really. My parents didn't prepare me for crap. Um, and that sucks because I don't know what to do. <clears throat> so here I am trying to figure it all out and uh, living in a city where I don't really have that many friends. And um, the people that I'm interested in either leave me or they um, don't care enough about themselves to where they can allow someone to come into their lives that would actually be good for them. Um, like there's this guy that I've known for two and a half years and I really, really like him. Oh, uh, last night we were talking at the bar and I went to the bar I know I'm, I, I try to stay away, but I can't um, because I'm trying to, you know, rede redesign my life right now and um, and figure out what's what what I like to do. And he, um, oh God, he's so sexy. And I tell him that he's sexy. And he's like, don't say that, don't say that. But he's like, he likes it when I say it, so I say it. But he doesn't like it. And I was all over him, and he was making me excited. And I was like, do you wanna? not come over for sex, but like, do you want to cuddle? And he's like, oh yeah, sure, just give me a call in a couple minutes. We're leaving right now, give me a call and um, you can come over. So I called and nothing. I sent text messages and nothing. So I'm guessing he either passed out or didn't really want me to come over or didn't really believe me that I would come over and that I wasn't going to be good and that I was going to be bad or something like that. So, sick of boys, <laughs> sick of them. Ah, oh, this is like failed attempt number 10. It's just bad. In the past three months, I have, in the past months, couple months since I've been here, I've dated and I haven't had a boyfriend. And I had more boyfriends living back home than I did here. It's just, ugh. um, but I know that like, I know that I have a lot of personal stuff to work on before I can actually have a boyfriend. I know that I have to work on my own shit first, um, but that's, you kind of want someone to go along with you on it, you know? <laughs> I kind of want someone to be there to hold my hand and all that fun stuff. Um, hold my hand and, you know, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I miss it, okay? It's been four months. Four months since I stopped drinking, four months since I stopped smoking, and four months since I got laid. I need to get laid. <laughs> I enjoy sex, but I'm tired of this, you know, go to the bar, pick up a guy, take him home, have sex. What do you feel the next day? Empty. Why? Because you just said empty sex. Um, I really want a relationship. Uh, but I'm not, I don't know if I'm actively looking. I don't know if I should, you know, everyone says to just let it happen. And I'm like, oh, that's boring. I kind of, you know, people never approach me. I don't know if it's I'm just too much. Um, I, I'm a lot of energy to handle, I guess, as you can tell. This is my first very excitable blog, I think. <laughs> so, as you can tell, I'm a lot of energy, and I'm very upfront, and I'm honest, and I was just thinking that I should totally do that Moment of Truth show, because I would go up there and be like, yeah, mm -hmm, yep, I did that, mm -hmm, I would totally do that, mm -hmm, yeah, <laughs> or yes, or no, or whatever, and I'd win because I tell the truth, because I don't lie. Um, there are things that I feel uncomfortable telling, but I'll tell you, because I'm not going to lie. Why would I lie about it? This is my life. I'm not going to lie about it. Uh, I think it started when I came out. I said, you know what? I'm not going to lie anymore. I said, screw it. Why should I sit here and lie? about the way I live my life because it's my life fuck it you know deal with it and I think that that's caused a bunch of issues but it's also relieved a lot of stress for me but it's also giving me stress because people don't like you when you're too honest um and people don't believe you that you're going to be honest and I think that's why a lot of people have walked away from me so I have like 20 seconds so I'm going to just say goodbye and uh, tell me what you think of the blog if you're even watching I hope some people are watching that'd be nice I'm thinking about doing some comedy videos maybe I don't know uh, so anyways have a good day bye